Let's do one more this way. So let's say my question now is what percent of drivers go between 60 and 70 miles per hour? That's kind of a different question than what I did before. And so remember, our first step is to draw it and to calculate our z-scores and to look it up. So I'm going to draw it. So here's roughly 60, here's roughly 70, and just to make it, uh, no, I guess I'll leave it because this is the area that I want. So I want in between 60 and 70. This looks very different than how we did it before. So we're going to actually have a couple extra steps. Even if you're not sure what to do, just start calculating z-scores. It'll help you kind of figure out what you need to do next. So we're going to calculate z-score for the 60. So we have 60 minus 75 divided by 10. Remember, that's a negative 15 divided by 10. It's negative 1.5. Now we already know the z-score for 70 because we did it in the previous video, but just to remind you, I'm just flushing with the handwriting, <laughs> divided by 10, and this is going to be a negative 0 0.5. So now we have a z-score of 1.5 and a z-score, sorry, a negative 1.5 and a z-score of negative 0.5. So I want to take these two scores and figure out what I can glean from the table. This is going to be a little bit of a mental leap, so make sure that you follow and uh, let me know if you're confused. But <clears throat> let's go over to the table real quick. So let's start with the 0.5. So if I have a z-score of 0.5, you'll notice that I can look up the middle area or I can look up the end. These are negative, so this is going to be the view that we're looking at. Now, some students will think, oh, we're looking in the middle. But actually, this isn't from the z-score of 0.5 to the z-score of negative 1.5, right? Those aren't what these are saying. This is saying from negative 0.5 to the mean. And so this, isn't, this middle area isn't quite what the question is looking for. But let's go ahead and, and start with this, if that's what your knee-jerk response was to think to use. And then I'll show you how we'd actually map it on. So remember that this 0.5 had a, the B column said 1915, right? So we're going to put that in our picture. But since we're looking at the table, let's go ahead and find the, the z-score of 1.5. And I find that over here. And since we're using the B column, let's stick with the B column. And this B column for 1.5 says 43.32. Right, let's go put that in our picture. So I want to be really careful about how I put this in my picture to make sure that you're clear. So I'm going to put um, these colors, use different colors. So for the z-score of 60, I'm going to use blue. So we found that the z-score of negative 1.5 had a B column of 43.32. So what that means is, remember, this is the line for 60. From this point all the way to the mean, was 43.32, 43.32. So that's this blue line here. Remember, that's the definition of the B column, is it's from your score to the mean. Now I'm going to put the, um, the other z-score in green. So this score of negative 0.5, remember that had a B column of 19.15. So that's going to be from this line. This is the 70 to the 75. That's going to be this distance here. So that is 19.15. So the area that I actually wanted was this area here. See? And that is not the blue area. That is not the green area. But in fact, it's the difference between the two. So the way we would do this is you take your 43, 43.32 and subtract your 1915. Come on, pan. All right. 
And that's going to give me, if you wanted to figure out in your calculator, 24.17. So the answer for me is 24.17% of people drive between 60 and 70 miles per hour. So you see how the B column didn't quite give us what we wanted at the outset, but we were able to figure out what we wanted. Now, if you had used the C column, you would have ended up doing something similar. The C column would have had you, I'll put that in um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum, black. The C column would have said, oh, from 60 to the end, what would be your score? And then from 70 to the end, what would be your score? And then you'd have to subtract the two to get the middle. So no matter what, you were going to have to do some subtracting. So what we were able to do then is answer a very complicated question about the, the um, percentage of people who go between 70, 60 and 70 miles per hour by using that table. So sometimes students ask me, how do I know if I'm going to have to um, add or subtract? Because in one of the videos, we added the two scores together. In one of the videos, we subtracted. And so my tip for you is, if you find that scores are going to be flanking the mean, what I mean by flanking the mean is they're on either side of the mean. So here's the mean, and I want the range here, then you're going to have to do some adding. Whether you do the B column or the C column, there's going to have to be adding involved. Um, but if you were going to be doing um, a score range that's on one side of the mean or the other, so see how this is all on one side, it's not flanking the mean, then you're going to have to be subtracting. So that's just a, a kind of a helpful tip for you to orient. If they're on one side, it could have been this side or this side, but see how these are on different sides of the mean, subtracting is going to have to happen versus if they're flanking the mean, they're on either side of the mean, so it kind of goes over the mean, then you're going to have to be doing some adding. All right, we have one more um, kind of use of this table before we're done. Let's check out the next video.